Susan, thank you. Okay. Hello again, guys. Inshallah, today we will take lesson six, page 497, volume and surface area of composite figures. Now, in the previous lesson, guys, we took three things. We took area of composite figures, we took volume of solids, and we took surface area of solids, right? So we took area of composite figures, if you remember, we revised the areas, and we did a lot of areas before. And we took volume and we took surface area. Let's remember the volume quickly. Now, if to find the volume, we have two types of solid figures. Two types of solid figures, either prisms or pyramids, right? Now, how I know if it's prism or prim uh, prism or pyramid? Prism, it has two congruent bases two congruent bases, but the pyramid have or has only one base, okay? Now, in the prism, how we find the volume, guys? In the prism, always what we do, we follow this BH, B big, not BH. If you remember the area of parallelogram BH, this is different, huh? This B is the area of the base. This B is the base of the parallelogram. That's why they wrote here big B and here small B. So be careful of this. Now, BH, big BH, okay, in the prism, but in the pyramid, don't forget that the volume equal one over three BH. Don't forget that. This is the main formula, the general formula of the prism. This is the general formula of the pyramids in finding the volume. Now, what's B, which is the important here, is the base area. What you will do for any prism to find the volume, just go to its base, find its area, then multiply by the height of the whole prism. For example, if we have, if we have triangular prism, triangular prism, okay? Triangular prism. We have two bases, triangle, and this is the height here. What you will do, you will find the base area of the triangle by using the formula of the area of the triangle, which we did. Multiply the height. Okay? And we did examples a lot about it. Now, in the pyramids, also we have, uh, sorry, the H here is also, it's the height of the pyramid, of the prism. Here also, B and H are the same. Here, B and H are the same of this. B is the base area, H is the height of the pyramid. But what's the main difference between them? The main difference between them is the one over three. This is how we find the volume in general. Now, how we find the surface area, it has no formula, but the rectangular prism has a formula. The rectangular prism, how we find the area, or so the surface area of the rectangular prism. And when I say surface area, I mean the area of all of the faces of the prism or the pyramid, whatever you have. Surface area means all the faces areas together. Here we have six faces, like the room, remember? Now, if we have length, width, and height, how we find the surface area? If you remember, we wrote formula for this. Surface area of the rectangular prism is two multiply length, multiply width, plus two multiply length, multiply height, plus two multiply width, multiply height. We did that before. But how about the other solids? The other solids you need to imagine and calculate each face, each face uh, by itself. Then you add the areas. Then you add the areas. Now, all of the prisms and the pyramids, what they have, guys, in their bases and their side faces, they have either rectangles, triangles, trapezoids, squares, parallelograms. Now, you should know the formulas of each small figure or famous figure, like the rectangle. It's a disaster if someone don't know that the area of the rectangle is linked by width. Or the area of the triangle is half BH. Or the area of the square is S by S. These small areas, we use them to find anything we want here. These are the basics. 
of the whole things here. Okay, guys, this is introduction about this lesson. Now, what we will do, now what we will do, we took the volume alone, we took the surface area alone. Now we will put composite solids, means I can put triangular prism with rectangular prism together and I will find the, the surface area and the volume. So if you understand the previous lessons, then this one will be easy for you. So start by example one, page. Four hundred ninety-eight. Four hundred ninety-eight. Yeah, example one, page four hundred ninety-eight. And guys, the solid figures, if they are composite, means more than one solid figure. It's difficult to graph. It is what difficult to graph. Really, it's very difficult to graph. And if you graph it, it will be not exact distances between the points or the vertices. So we will use the figures in the book, guys. So please, guys, open your book. And when I say take a look to the figure, you need to look to the figure. Because without the figure, we cannot do anything. OK? So let's start by example one, page 498 together with Russia. Read the Russia. <clears throat> Russia. Hello? Yes, Mr. Uh, I, I was, uh, I want to ask you a question. Ask. But, uh, you said it, خلص. I answered it? Yes, yes. Good, yeah. We are on example one now. Do you want to solve it with me? Okay, no problem, Mr. Yeah, read. Volume of composite figures. A, a toy block has the, the dimensions shown. What a toy is block the has this word, wait, dimensions. Dimensions, okay? Dimensions. dimensions shown. Take a look here, guys. This is the toy. What we have down and what we have up. Down, what we have, Yarasha, do you know? Uh, the base, mister. No, down. We have two figures, right? Yeah. The, the, we have two figures. We have figure down and figure up. Two solid figures. The, the, the lower one, what we call it, do you know? No. Uh, uh, square, mister. Square. A square. A square what? Prism. Square prism. Yeah. prism. It's like the box. See it? Yeah. Yes, yes. It is rectangular prism. Got it? Yeah. Stop. How about the upper one? What's this? A triangular prism. N not a triangular and not a prism. We have two parts, Yabni. The lower one is a square prism. The upper one is a square. It has one base. What we call it? Square what? Uh, per uh, pyramid. Pyramid. Exactly. Square pyramid. So we have two figures, guys. The lower one, rectangular prism. The upper one, sorry, the lower one, it's a square because we have similar dimensions here. A square prism. The upper one is a square what, Ya Rashid? Square pyramid. Got square it? Square pyramid, yeah. Good. Now, to find the volume of the whole figure, we need to find the volume of the lower part and the upper part, then we add them, right? Yes. So, look here. Look at the board what I will write now. Big V, volume of the whole figure equal volume of the square prism, which is the lower part, Mashi, plus, plus volume of what? Of the square pyramid, pyramid which is the upper part, right? Yeah. So the whole volume, the whole volume, is volume of the lower part, which is the square prism, and the volume of the upper part, which is the square pyramid, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Now, let's find the first part here. How we find the volume of this part? We have lower part here, right? Yes. This part. Then we will find the volume of the upper part. Let's start with the 
lower part, this one. It has length, width, and height. And height. So how we find the volume of it? Uh, length multiply uh, width multiply height exactly it, the square prism guys it's similar to the rectangular prism it is the same length by width by height it's a cube we call it cube cube a cube means all the sides are the same and it's squares not rectangles but it's okay length by width by height right yeah Rashid? yes mister yeah equal because it's BH, don't forget that, guys. Equal, yellow. What's the length? Uh, uh, length 8.4. Multiply by the width. Multiply 8.4. Multiply the height. 8.4. 8.4. This part, for what? The square prism, for the lower the part, prism. right? The lower part, right? Now we need to find the yes. upper part. The upper part, I will take it by side here, and I will graph it alone, just to imagine it more. This is the upper part. I cut the lower part, okay? Sahih, Abni? Yes, mister, yeah. Now, now, here down, what's the base? Uh, the base? Mm. Square. Well, la. Square, yeah. Yes. And the sides are all triangles. How we find the yes. volume of the pyramid? Do you know? Yes, Mr. V equal S. How we find the volume of the pyramid, Yabni? Do you know? Uh, no, Mr. Look here. How we find the uh, volume the pyramid, of the pyramid? V equal uh, uh -huh. 1 over 3 pH. B is the phase area and phase H area. is the height H of the pyramid, the right? Yeah. So one over three, don't forget that, guys. So here, let's find the volume for this part. Plus one over three, multiply the phase area. The area uh, or the base is square. What's the area of the square? Uh, the area of the square is uh, mm -hmm. eight point... Uh, eight it eight is the point same... Point. Exactly. Multiply what? Multiply. 8.4. Uh, so the base area, 8.4, multiply 8.4. Multiply the height. The height of what? Of the pyramid. The How much the height? Eight. It is 5.8. Okay. Yeah. Now look here, guys, to the general solution here. The general one. I want to find the whole volume. I take it as two parts. The first part, the lower one, is a square prism. The length of it, length by width by height. We took that before. The upper part is a square pyramid. Pyramid. The volume of it, one over three, base area multiply the height. But the base is square, which is the side multiply side, remember? And don't forget the one over three, it's from the general formula for the volume of the pyramid. Don't forget that, guys. Then multiply by the height of the pyramid. Now, by one click in your calculator, you can put all of these numbers together. The answer will be, all of them together, the answer will be 729.12. What? Uh, centimeter, mister. Cubic, right? Yeah. Cubic. Yes. Cubic. Yes. Why cubic? Because we are calculating what? Volume. Volume. Now, take a look to the book, guys. What the book make? Look here, guys. The book make the volume of the cube, which is the lower part, alone. And the volume of the uh, square pyramid, which is the upper part, alone. What we did, me and Rashid, on the board, 
we did the two steps, the two steps in one step. Okay. So you can use this way if you if, if you feel more comfortable with. You can take the lower part alone, the upper part alone, and calculate. Okay, guys? So it's easy if you understand the previous lessons. Don't forget that. Now, the total volume of the toy block is about, or kada, they wrote here square centimeters, which I reject this one, and you need to write a cubic centimeter because we are calculating volume here. Okay, guys? Now, any questions about this example, guys? Any questions? Any questions about this example? Yes, Anne. No, Mr. Abdullah. Abdullah, yes, Anne. Uh, Mr. Uh, Who's talking? Yes, Anne? Yes. Muhammad Hassan. Yes, Yabn Yahki. Any questions? Uh, no, only I want to answer with you in the second question. Tayyip. Mr. Abdullah. <laughs> Yes, uh, Mr. I only want to. Can you hear Abdullah? Malish, Abdullah, raise up your voice and talk. Can I solve? Yes, you can. Just wait. Muhammad Hassan. Uh, I want to participate only. Good. So you, you, all of you, you understand what what we did here, me and Rashid, right? Yes. 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 Five. Malish, Abdullah, Riyab, yalla. Abdullah, read the check. What is the volume of the composite figure? Round to the nearest hundred if necessary. Good. Now here, guys, we need to find the volume of this figure. Now let's take a look to the to this figure. Look, guys. Ma'ay Abdullah? Yes. What we have here? Can you tell me what we have here? Uh, a triangle prism, three of them. Yes, I'm well the triangle, my fish triangle home. <laughs> A rectangle, rectangle. All of them, we have a three parts, right? Yes. This part, this part, and this part. Mishak? Yes. And the three parts are all what? Rectangular? Prism. Prisms. But we need to find the volume, right? Yes. So what we will do here, we will find the volume of this part here, then the volume of the big part, then the volume of the small part. And then what we will do, we will add them together, right? Yes. So let's start with the volume of the small part here. See it? Yes. Yeah. Now all are rectangular prism. Don't forget that, guys, the check. We are on the check page 498. Now, the three parts of this solid figure, composite figure, are all are what? Rectangular prism. The volume of the rectangular prism, it is the easy formula, length by width by height. And we can use it for the cube also. Okay, guys? Yeah. Now, let's just start. V equal. We are doing the small one to the left here. See it? Yes. Yeah. Yalla, ya Abdullah. What's the uh, width and the length here? Uh, 2.4 and 4.4. What's the height of it? Do we have height? Yes, at the right, 4.2. At the right, guys, they gave me the height of the lower part, which is 2.4. The same of this, right? Yes. So, the first part here, what's the volume of it? Length multiply width, multiply it is height, which is the same of this height, 2.4. Got it, Abdullah? Yes. So what we will write the volume of this part, the small part down? 2.4 multiply, uh, multiply 4.7. Multiply? 4.7. No, man, the two dimensions here. I want the formula said length by width by height, right? Yes. Good. Well, what is the volume of this small part down to the left here? 2.4 multiply. Mashi, multiply. 2.4. 2.4. Multiply. 4.7. Multiply what's the height? 2.4. It is this one, the same here, right? So the first part is, tell me, Allah, I don't memorize the numbers. Tell me what's our right? 
2.4 multiply 4.7 4.7 multiply 2.4 2.4 look guys length by width by height for the small part to the left got it yes plus plus the second part we will find the big one or the small one what you choose uh, we are done with this part right mr the small one and you multiply the volume by two so that exactly they have the same dimensions guys look 2.4 4.7 and the height the same so either you multiply them by two or you calculate it alone but it's the same right Let's calculate it, it alone, okay? 2.4 multiply 4.7 multiply 2.4. So plus, this is the small part. The other small part, it is the same. They have the same dimensions. 2.4 multiply 4.7 multiply 2.4 plus. Now, what we, what we did now, this is the small part to the left. This is the small part to the right. Mashek? Yes. Let's find the big part, the upper one. The big part now, yeah, Abdullah. I need length, width, and height because it's rectangular prism. First of all, what's the length of it? 9.1. Good. What's the width of it? 4.7. Exactly. This width, guys, here, it is the same of this width. It's the same, right? So, length, 9.7. Width, it is the same of 4.7, and the height is how much for it? 2.4. So, the volume of the upper part, 9.1, multiply 4.7, multiply 2.4. Get it? Yes. Yeah. 9.1, multiply 4.7, multiply what? The height? 2.4. 2.4, good. What I did here, guys, I have three sections. This is the volume of the lower part to the left, the volume of the lower part to the right, the volume of the big part, the upper one, right? Yes. Now use your calculator. Multiply and add by one step, you'll find the answer. Let's use one, my calculator. 100. You, you did it? Yes, 156.4. Seven nine two. Good. Let me check. Malish. Let me check. Yeah. No. Two point four multiply four point seven multiply two point four plus two point four multiply four point seven multiply two point four. Right. Plus nine point one multiply four point seven multiply two point four. The answer is one hundred fifty six. Aywa. Point seven hundred ninety-two. What? What's the unit here? The unit of volume. What's the unit? Centimeter. Centimeter cubed. Cubic. Mister, they said down to the nearest hundred. To the nearest what? They want us to round. Hundred. Hundreds. Nine. This nine after it two is still nine and the two gun right. So the final answer rounded to the nearest hundredth is 156.79 centimeter cubic. Copy guys the check. Copy the check, please. Mister? Yes. Can I, uh, can I answer? Uh, مين معي؟ انتو مين انت؟ يلا يا محمد ماشي اوكي حبيبي اوكي كبي did you finish copying؟ yeah yeah good boy كبي guys كبي
This is example one and the check both talks about composite volume, volume of composite figure. Now we'll take some examples about surface area of composite figures. Surface area, page 499. Example three, guys. It talks example about two. surface two, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Example two, page 499, yeah. Sorry, page uh, 500, sorry. 500, yeah. Page 500, guys, example two. Yeah, let's take a look here. It's a clear one, and this one, same of this one, right? Yeah, but surface area. Inta mil nibihki, Muhammad? Yes. Yalla, Muhammad. Here we found the volume, guys. But here, yeah. what you will find? Surface area. The surface area of this figure. Surface area of this figure, guys, means the area of all of the figure faces. All of them. How many faces we have down, Ya Muhammad? Uh, we have four faces down. Where are they? Five, five. Uh, four. Five faces. No, five. We have four at the sides and one down, right? Yeah, yeah. Now I want to ask you a question here. See the roof of this box, the roof. Yeah. Is this calculated for the surface area? Yeah. No, it is not. No, no. It is not. Why it is not? Because I'm talking about the outsider, the outside faces, got it? This face, yeah. which is the roof of the small box down, this face, see it? Do you understand me? Yeah, the triangle, yeah. Uh, this face is based for the triangle, but we don't uh, we don't calculate the area of it. Why? Because it's not outsider face, right? Yeah. So how many faces down we have? Five. Five. And how many faces up we have? Four. Four. We have four triangles on the sides. And five squares, because we have similar dimensions here, right? Yes. Let's find the surface area. Now, surface area equal. Let's start from the lower part. How many squares, how many squares we have? One uh, for faces. Oh, how many faces five we have? Five, five squares. Five squares. Each square of them has the same length and the same width. How will find the area? Uh, uh, if we have a square, yes. Yabni, yes. if we have a square with same dimensions, okay? More square, same dimensions, right? Yeah. Here five and here five. What's the area of it? Uh, five, uh, five uh, and F power two. Uh, Mercy, five power two, which is five times five, right? Yes. Area of the square, guys, S times S, don't forget that. So what's the area of one square of them? Because they are the, all the same, Sheikh. Look, Yabni, all the same. Homo, nafs dimensions, length, width, height, nafs she. So all the faces have the same sides, got it? Hello? Hello? Ya Ibn, where are you? Where are you? Why are you doing this? I'm going to ask you, Mr. Belgrad. Yalla, Ya Ibn. Yalla, khalas, khalas. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yalla. How will you find the area of the square, Ya Ibn? S power 2. S power 2. Ya Ibn, what is F? What is F? 
ايش هو اللي اف انا مش فاهم عليك ايش اف يعني يا ابني ذس سكوير سيت يا واتس ذا اريا اوف ات هلو يا يا What is the area, Ebony? Do you know or you don't know? Ebony, uh, Ebony. Yeah, 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 yeah. Side power two. What's the side? How much? Eight, eight and uh, one over two. So the side length eight and one over two. Power two means what? Eight and one over two multiply eight and one over two. صح. صح. Plus this this area for one square, but I multiplied by five because I have five congruent squares, guys. Now let's go to the lower part. Lower part, what we have up. Ehki. Eight and one over two. ماشي يا ابني the lower part, the upper parts here what we have what are the faces how many faces four four side four faces each face is a triangle right yes and all of them have the same height which is 16 and 5 over 8 and the same base this base same of this right which is what eight and a half مشيك yes نفس so so what we will write how many triangles we have Four. Four. Multiply area of the triangle. Do you know the area one, of the triangle? One, one over two be, uh, base, does, height. base height. One over two, the area of the triangle, guys. Don't forget. Half base height. What's the base for the triangle? Uh, 16 and 5. That, this is the height, Yabni. I want the base. Eight and one over two. Aywa, eight and half. Multiply the height. What's the height? 16 and 5 over 8. Montaz. Look here, guys. From where I get this 5, I have 5 squares down. From where I get this 4, I have 4 triangles up. Why I put 5? Because all the squares are the same. So no need to make 5 areas. It's enough. One area multiply by the number of them. No need to make 4 triangles. Enough one triangle multiplied by the number of it, right? Yeah. So what we will do now, we will calculate. Multiply it. Yeah. So I'll multiply all of these numbers, guys, and let's find the answer here. Yeah. <clears throat> The answer will be, guys, 643 and 7 and over 8. 7 over 8. 643 and 7 over 8. What? What's the unit used in the graph? Inch. Inch what, ya Muhammad? Inch power, uh, inch power 2. Inch, inch power 2. two. Why power? Two, 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 two. Two, two. Power 2. Leash. Power two. لأنه بنحكي عن مين إحنا؟ عن area. عن area. So if we have area, power two. If we have volume, power three. Power three. This is example two, guys. Page five hundred. Example two. And guys, sometimes if you miss side, look here, guys, please. مثلا you need انت you need this side okay this side you need it and there is no number on it but down here you have five means this the same يعني don't be confused with that this equal to this if this five then this five don't forget that here in the triangles up we need the base the base is same of, same of this side right and the height is given how we know the height, guys? Don't forget that. We have a square, uh, sorry, right angle down. See it? Don't forget. Height means right angle down. Don't forget that. This is the example number two, page 500. Now, down here, guys, we have what? We have check. 
Now, I'm running off time. I cannot do it for now, but I will give you a hint. Hint. What's the meaning of hint? Hint means something to help you to solve the problem. Now, my hint is you can make division like this one. Here you put a line or here you put a line. You can make it like this or like this. Then find the dimensions. See how many rectangular prisms you have. If you put like this, you will have two. One down and one up. Then find what the surface area of it. So try to solve it in your home. If you couldn't solve it, if you cannot solve it, guys. Now, in the next week, we said we have revision periods. We will do exercises. We will start with it and do it together. Don't forget your homework. Try to do as much as you can. Don't forget your online assignment, guys, today. And please, guys, there are students. So please, guys, do your online assignment today from 2 p.m. until 11 p.m. on Saturday. Don't forget that. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the four periods next week. Goodbye for all. Have a week and very beautiful.